Joe and John here with Petroleum Service Company and today we're going to talk a little bit about our offering of industrial greases. Um, now as we know, uh, greases are used to protect, seal and lubricate uh, various machinery and vehicles, uh, particularly your gears, bearings, chassis and linkages. So why don't you touch a little bit on that, John? All right, Joe, right. Uh, basically, grease is a semi-solid type lubricant. Um, and as you just said, you know, some of the applications, the, you know, gearboxes, uh, linkages, um, bearings, they're all hard, hard to reach places. So it's not like you just go in there, you're going to lubricate them every day with, with a specific uh, liquid type oil. Right. You need something that you can kind of pack it in there and just forget about it, knowing that that component's going to stay lubricated. Right. Um, the biggest thing with it is, you know, fluids and greases, uh, greases have extra thickeners. So thickeners to help hold that lubricant stay in place. One of the things you really want to want to watch for, like you know, picture greasing a chain. You know, when you look at a chain, it's going to have grease. It's going to cake on there. It's going to stay. That that's how you know that that's staying lubricated. Right. But what actually happens in a grease, you know, a chain being a good example is it's not always in motion. So once you put a particular item being lubricated in motion, it's going to heat up. That's actually going to allow the base oils to release, and the lubrication take place. Then as it cools back off, the grease gets sucked back in. That's where that thickener is coming into place. It acts like a sponge. So as you heat up, you move, you're going to release the base oils. And then as it's cooling back off, that lubricant is going to get sucked back in just like a sponge. All right, perfect. And I mean, you touched a little bit on the components, but let's break down the different, uh, the different components that go into a grease, be it we have the base oil, we have the thickener, and the additives. So you touched a little bit on the base oil. Now, similar to how we have engine oils that are synthetic and mineral-based, greases are also, you know, they can be synthetic and mineral-based, and we offer both at Petroleum Service Company. Exactly it. Um, based on the application, you know, synthetic applications where you need to extend the life uh, of the lubricant, and it's got to stay in there for a while, the OEM is generally going to uh, specify synthetic. Uh, and then you got your traditional mineral-based, they're usually your all-purpose type, multi-purpose type greases. Yep. And then, uh, of course, you know, one of the more specific to an application is a food-grade grease, you know, right. where there's a chance for incidental food contact. You can actually shop our website specifically by that application, and it's going to show you all the yep. food-grade greases we offer. There's a little bit of variance there with the base oil. If you, want, if you know you need a synthetic versus a mineral-based, we have that category there ready for you. And then jumping ahead to the thickener, as you said before, the sponge. Now there's differences in there as well, right? Now, one of the most common thickeners you find in a grease is your lithium. So you'll have lithium complex soap greases. Um, you'll even see some that are uh, polyurea, polyurea being specific to say an electrical application. So you're okay. working on an electric motor, you're going to go to polyurea type grease. So uh, again, always depending on the application, that's going to kind of dictate what type of uh, thickener is going to be in that oil. And finally, I mean, moving on is the additives. Right, so like any other uh, lubricant out there, it's only as good as the additives that are in it. And uh, one of the, the main ones that we sell a lot of that are specific to a lot of the OEMs out there is you want a grease with molybendulum in it. So they want that dry lubricant, so we actually have greases uh, in a category by themselves that actually contain moly. We offer it in a couple different ways, different sizes, but and also in different percentages. Some of our grease have 3% moly, and we also have it in 5% moly, depending on the application or what the OEM is recommending to do. So yeah, there are a few different additives out there, and depending on what your application is, one might be more beneficial than the other. Right, right, and that's kind of why we have such an array of uh, grease types on our website because it's really specific to the application. You know, you always want to pay attention to what your OEMs recommending you use. You know, if they're calling for Molly, make sure you got a grease with a Molly additive in it. Don't just throw anything in there. Um, you know, you don't want to use a uh, mineral-based grease where it's calling for synthetic just to cut corners because there's a reason they're calling for that synthetic and vice versa. You know, you don't want to waste money throwing that synthetic in there where you could be using a mineral base. So there's a lot of different ways to shop greases, but kind of knowing what you need. Uh, is going to help you out going, in, going into the uh, process. And we have a wide range of brands available at PetroleumServiceCompany.com. I mean, from you know, AutoGuard, Coastal, Chevron, Mobile, Kendall, Phillips 66, a uh, huge range. And you can find all of those in the greases section, um, PetroleumServiceCompany.com, and multiple size options from cases all the way up to 55-gallon drums. And for John, I'm Joe. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys.